Yeah, yeah, so tell us. Because Alan wasn't there. But yeah. Gordon was. So I was there. there. So I was there. <laughs> so, you know, I, that, that question cinched it. Yeah. Was there another family there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there, we're, we're all living in three of us. There's four kids in the family, of course Frank, myself, Bruce, and Carol. And uh, uh, every Sunday we'd have a nice formal dinner in the dining room with a roast and we had to get dressed up and we had to open, you know, the boys had to sit the women down by sliding their chairs in and so on and there was all protocol and formality. And Bruce had to wear shoes? Bruce had to wear shoes and Bruce had to wear shoes because Bruce didn't like wearing shoes. So he was still bitter. About I'm a bit like that. <laughs> She's like you and underwear. When she got, when she didn't like shoes, you had to kick them off. You walk around in your socks, right? But anyway, so to get supper, you had to have shoes on. So we all, we all kind of get in there, and uh, uh, Mom would always make dessert, and I think it was Bruce actually who uh, asked, "Could we have cream puffs?" So uh, chocolate eclair, not chocolate eclair, chocolate cream puffs. And mum would make them with cut, put the cream and the chocolate on top, and so on. And they were all, they were all in the fridge before dinner. She made them on Sunday morning or whatever. So, anyways, everything's going along and so on. And uh, Bruce is uh, looking at the cream puffs because he's really into them. <laughs> and she made, let's say she made eight. Uh, and I don't know if she made eight, eight, eight or what she the made number. one for each, I think. I'm yeah, sure. and maybe there's one or two extra. She made eight. Halfway through the day, Bruce finds out there's only seven. In the fridge. <laughs> in the fridge. He's checking the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> the police now, kind of like it. Just, you know. we, we all know Frank that he <laughs> had a great appetite then and Recently, sweet. not so much, but sweet, sweet tooth, like like our dad, and he obviously was the kind of guy that would just couldn't resist grabbing something sweet, and so Bruce started the cream puff affair. <laughs> he said, "We need to find out who did this," <laughs> and he started interviewing everybody in the room. Where and are you said, on the night of the party? <laughs> and and. Guilt, what's it, what's it, the notion of guilty before proven innocent? <laughs> yeah. innocent before proven. It was Frank. <laughs> it was, and he started bugging Frank. And Frank said, was it me? <laughs> Why, yes, it was. And that, it, it got to the point where Frank just laughed. He just started giggling. He would just he would laugh. Every time Bruce would bring it up, he would just laugh. He wouldn't yeah. even say anything. He At just first, he was, was first it was like, yeah. and then he just started laughing and so on and so forth. And anyways... Went down that nobody knew the story, the real story about that eighth cream puff, until years later when my sister Carol somehow oh. admitted. Oh. 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 I think she got drunk in that. Well, we were young. Oh, when she was drunk later, in later, in later in years, she in her adults, and it spilled. Yeah, that's so the least likely was the uh, one. Oh, she yeah. never no suspicion on Carol. Yeah. No, she was like it was a, Frank. Like <laughs> her. Everybody <laughs> thought it was She snuck a few things. She snuck, stole one of my shirts once. <laughs> <laughs> never told anyone. Anyway, oh my God. She had these little things. Funny. But anyway, so, so that's the cream puff affair. Auntie Carol, the cream puff affair. That yeah, is so awesome. And Frank oh. will tell you about it. Infamous. Wonderful. Way to go, Alex.